Hello everyone. In this session, I am going to explain the interview question. What is selenium and uh, what are the different components and versions of selenium? So what exactly is selenium? So you have to answer like this guys. Selenium is a very simple answer that you can give in the interview is selenium is one of the most popular test automation tool available in the market. This is the answer. Selenium is one of the most popular test automation tool. So selenium is a test automation tool. And uh, if you can, if you can elaborate it more, like uh, when interviewer is asking what is selenium, if you are just giving a straightforward answer, it may not add so much value to the question. Rather, you can give a lot of details like this. Okay, you can give any of these details, whatever you remember from this, you can give it one after the another one. First, you need to say that Selenium is a test automation tool, which is very popular in the market. After that, you can mention Selenium automates web applications only. This is an extra information give, guys. This is an extra information, guys, that you can give for the interviewer so that he gets convinced. So Selenium automates web applications only. And you can also mention that Selenium cannot automate desktop or mobile applications. It cannot automate desktop or mobile applications. Then followed by, you can mention that Selenium is an open source tool. Okay, Selenium is an open source tool. What actually is a open source software is? Open source software or tool. What exactly is an open source software or tool? So open source source software or tool is nothing but whose source code. So developers will be writing some automation code for developing this open source tool or software, right? That source code, which is developed by the developers for creating this particular open source software can be publicly accessible. Anyone can use it guys. Okay. I can use, you can use, anyone can use and they can even modify it. They can even modify, edit, and also they can create a different type of product. For example, Selenium is an open source tool. You can take out Selenium and you, you thought like uh, you can uh, enhance Selenium in a better way. Okay. So it can do the automation in a better way. In, the, in such cases, you can take out Selenium, modify it, edit it, update it. Okay. And then publish on your own name. Okay. Though there are a lot of rules, guys, uh, open source community rules are there. Okay, I'm just explaining at a high level. So that's that is nothing but an open source tool. Many people think that open source is a term for free. It's not like that, guys. Open source, most of the open source tools are free. I agree, but uh, there may be some business around it. But at a high level, if you see, open source is nothing but publicly accessible source code, which can further be modified and edited for enhancing it. Okay. This is nothing and nothing but an open source tool means. Now you can also mention more things like this. That is Selenium is free. Selenium is free. You don't have to pay a single penny for any licensing cost. It doesn't have any licensing cost. It's freely available in the market. That's why it's so popular. It's powerful. At same time, it's available for free. You don't have to pay a single rupee also. Okay. Single penny or rupee or dollar. Anything is not required. Like other proprietary tools. Okay, unlike other proprietary tools, which need some licensing cost, but Selenium is free, completely free guys, free to use. You don't have to pay a single rupee there. Okay, now you can also mention Selenium can be, can execute the automation tests across the supported browsers. Selenium supports all these browsers guys. Once you create automation scripts using Selenium automation tool, once you create automation scripts using Selenium test automation tool, that automation scripts can be executed on this many number of supported browsers. These are all the popular browsers that are mostly used in the market, right? So starting with Chrome, Chrome, then Firefox is also mostly used in the market. Internet Explorer, then Safari, then Opera. In Mac machines, by default, you will get Safari browser, whereas in Windows machines, by default, you will get Internet Explorer browsers. That's why they are in the popular list. And coming to Chrome and Firefox, they are open source software. Okay, this one is by Google and this one is by Mozilla. And other one is Opera, which is also very good in the market, guys. Okay, people generally use all these softwares. And Selenium is supporting all these browsers. You can automate whatever the automation code you have written for automating your test cases using Selenium automation tool can be executed on any of these browsers. Okay, 
and mostly we will be automating our automation scripts on these three browsers guys so these four browsers chrome firefox internet and safari okay now now another thing that you can mention for uh, this answer is selenium can be used to execute the automation test across the following different operating systems okay you can execute the automation test across the following different operating systems guys that is on microsoft windows you can execute your uh, selenium automation scripts on apple os x that is mac machines you can execute your automation scripts on linux operating systems also you can execute your automation scripts that's how flexible the selenium is and one more point i can add here is selenium can be used can be uh, selenium automation scripts automation scripts can be developed using any of the following programming languages so what are the what are the list of programming languages that uh, selenium uh, selenium automation tool can be used for for developing the automation code so the most popular one is java okay mostly used and uh, famous one okay and also has and also has mostly used famous and also has lot of support in the market why i am saying lot of support okay why i am saying a lot of support in the market this is because if you get any issue if you are stuck anywhere while automating your selenium uh, automation scripts using a programming language like java if you are facing any problem so when you browse the google when you google it out when you google out your problem most of the solutions that you see okay 95% of the solutions that you see on the web are based on java okay and it has lot of support whatever that gets released into the market from selenium guys they will first release it for java followed by other languages now the next popular trending programming language in the market is python okay second popular used language in the market as for now as for today this is the second popular used language for selenium in the market third one is c sharp okay third it it falls in the third category okay it is also very popular and uh, it has a lot of demand and less automation engineers in this area and it's very popular and then followed by ruby okay and followed by perl uh, php r haskell javascript okay these are the different programming languages guys uh, perl is covered right yeah these are the different programming languages that you can use for automating your test cases in selenium automation tool let me check if i am missing anything so we'll go to an official website of selenium that is seleniumhq.org here you can go to about section okay on docs supported browsers and platforms and uh, here you can see the list guys uh, what exactly it is supporting and all fine selenium hq i'll directly search programming languages yeah here you can see c sharp haskell we covered everything java javascript objective c is something i missed perl php python or ruby everything is covered just objective c is another programming language objective c okay these are the different programming languages that are supported by selenium for creating for developing the automation scripts so these are the different points guys apart from just directly giving the answer like selenium is one of the most popular test automation tool available in the market you can mention that this all these points to add more value to this question now other part of the question is we covered what is selenium now let's move to the other part of the question which asks what are the different components in selenium what are the different components in selenium i am co i covered it here what are the different components of selenium is a question so we have to answer like this 
Selenium is not a single tool, guys. Selenium is not a single tool. It's not a single. Selenium is not a single tool like UDP or other tools. But it is a combination of tools, or it is a suite of tools. The suite of tools. The combination of suite of tools. So, <clears throat> so what are the different tools that Selenium is comprised of? What are the different tools that Selenium is comprised of? Selenium tools you can call, or Selenium components you call. Both are same. Different tools or different components you can call anything. So, what are the different tools or components of Selenium? Then there are four guys. One is first one is Selenium IDE. Second one is Selenium RC. Third one is Selenium Web Driver. And fourth one is the Selenium Grid. These are the four tools which comprise the complete Selenium. So, coming to the first component of Selenium or first tool of Selenium, that is Selenium IDE, which is a record and playback tool, which is nothing but a record and playback tool. Okay. So you just uh, record a video and then play back it, right? Similar, similarly, you can use this tool, guys. Okay, you can record the your uh, test case while you are executing and then play back it for a later purpose. It's very simple tool, very simple tool to use, and uh, it cannot be used for complex applications, guys. If you are, uh, if you want to use Selenium IDE for a complex applications, it's not uh, suggestible because for complex applications there will be a lot of maintenance. And for which you cannot use Selenium ID. Something changes in automation scripts. You have to go back and then change all your test cases that you have recorded so far using Selenium ID. So at a high level, Selenium ID is a record and playback tool, and it cannot be used for complex applications. If you have an application having two to three pages, then it's fine to record because if something changes, you can re-record them without any problem, right? So coming to the second one, that is Selenium RC, the second suite of tool in uh, Selenium. It's kind of outdated, guys. It used to be a major tool. Okay, earlier in the market, it is most of the people used to use Selenium RC as a major tool coming to Selenium. But later, when Selenium Web Driver came into the market, when Selenium Web Driver came into the market with more benefits, people started migrating from Selenium RC to Selenium Web Web Driver. At present, no one is using Selenium RC. Everyone has migrated to Selenium Web Driver, guys. Okay. Right. Now coming to the Selenium Web Driver. Selenium Web Driver is a, currently the major tool of Selenium in the market. Everyone is in the current market is using Selenium Web Driver, guys. Okay, and followed by Selenium Grid. So Selenium Grid is for a different purpose, guys. Okay, it's currently used also, and it's for a different purpose. Its purpose is to support parallel execution. How it can support parallel execution by distributing the test across multiple machines. For example, you have hundred test cases which are automated, and if you are running those hundred test cases in a normal way, let's say each and every test case takes one minute. In that case, if if you want to execute hundred test cases, it may take around hundred minutes. But by using Selenium Grid, what you can do is you can distribute your test cases across multiple machines. So here, instead of single machine, you may be having multiple machines Let, let's say four machines so what selenium grid does is over the network it will distribute your automation test cases that is 100 test cases 25 to one machine 25 automation scripts to another machine like that remaining 25 to another and remaining 25 to another so each and every machine out of four machines got distributed equally with 25 automation scripts so what will be the time guys what will be the time of execution it will be almost like uh, 25 minutes right so ideally speaking, it's 25 minutes. So that's how Selenium Grid is the final automation tool in Selenium, which can be, which will support for parallel execution by distributing the test across multiple machines. So it just distributes the test across multiple machines over the network. The, the functionality of Selenium Grid is to distribute the test across multiple machines with an intention of supporting the parallel execution and thereby reducing the execution time of the test automation scripts. Fine. So now I answered, also answered what are the different components in Selenium. Now let's move to the last question that is, what are the different versions of Selenium? What are the different versions of Selenium? So Selenium got released into the market in different versions. The earlier version was Selenium 1. The, the first version was Selenium 1 and followed by Selenium 2 at later point of time. And the latest version that is currently available in the market for Selenium is Selenium 3. Okay, there are three versions so far, guys, and 
selenium is planning for more version soon okay it may be selenium 4 5 and all those stuff okay so for now to, till date selenium 1 is the oldest version and selenium 3 is the latest version so what what actually the selenium 1 has selenium 1 has is comprised of selenium ide rc and selenium grid these three things together is known as selenium 1 then came selenium 2 into the market what is the difference between selenium 1 and selenium 2 at a high level the difference is selenium web driver got added into the list okay here only three components are there in selenium 1 that is selenium id rc and grid but in selenium 2 up, along with selenium id rc and grid selenium web driver also got added so in selenium 2 people used to use both selenium rc and web driver together there are two different apis so from the same selenium 2 they were used to use all these four comp uh, all these two components okay so selenium id rc web driver and grid comprises this selenium 2 finally the latest version came into the market that is nothing but selenium 3 and uh, it has four four th uh, it has three things again okay selenium id web driver which is of the latest so here selenium rc is out removed guys okay in selenium 3 selenium rc dependency is completely removed some selenium rc dependency was there in selenium 2 so they kept selenium rc and web driver but in selenium 3 selenium rc dependency got completely removed and it it only has three components selenium id selenium grid and selenium web driver latest which has rolled out the selenium rc okay selenium rc got rolled out of the list by making it web driver fully dependent on itself rather than depending on the rc here backward selenium was there here no backward selenium directly web driver has completely overcome the problem so these are the three versions different versions of selenium guys this is how you can answer the interview questions for interview question for what is selenium and different components and versions of selenium see you guys thank you